The big, blobby-less factory steering wheel on my 2003 VW Beetle has always bugged me. <coughs> See what I did there? In this video, I'm going to show you how to swap it out for something way cooler. Step one and very important, disconnect the battery and let the car sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. This is important anytime you do anything remotely close to the airbag unless you want it accidentally exploding in your face. Here's a look at the inside of the steering wheel with the airbag removed. The airbag is held onto the steering wheel with two spring-loaded retainer clips. To release the airbag, you need to press the retainer clips toward the center of the wheel. There are two holes in the back of the steering wheel that give you access to these clips. I didn't know this until after doing the project, but there's actually a special tool for removing the airbag. You can get it online for about $15 or you can go on Amazon to get the same tool plus a bunch of other stuff for $22. This is the tool that I used. It's from a tool set for working on cell phones. Start by turning the steering wheel 90 degrees either to the left or to the right. Basically, you want the VW symbol on the front of the steering wheel turned sideways. Going through the hole in the back of the steering wheel, position your tool above the retainer clip and press the clip down. Gently pull the airbag towards you. Turn the wheel 180 degrees so that the other retainer clip is accessible and repeat the process. Here's the tricky part. In other videos that I watched, this wasn't really a big deal, but my airbag was wedged on there pretty good. Without a second pair of hands, I struggled with this for about 20 minutes. I couldn't get the other clip to release. I thought maybe that the clip was seized, and then I tried pushing the loose side down to maybe change the angle of where the clip was catching. I accidentally pushed the loose side all the way back into the lock position, and then the stuck side came out easily. So I recruited my wife to hold down the loose side of the airbag and that made it easier to release the other clip. After that, everything was kicked. Recenter the wheel. Gently pull the airbag away from the wheel and disconnect the wire connector from the airbag. Turn the key to the locked position, remove the key, and turn the wheel slightly to engage the steering column lock. Disconnect the horn wires. Using a Torx T55, remove the steering wheel bolt. Gently pull the wheel away from the column. Recenter the clock spring. There are two pins that stick up off the clock spring. They line up with the two holes on the back of the hub adapter. Carefully thread the airbag wires through the hub adapter. Match the clock spring pegs with the holes on the back of the hub adapter. And center the hub adapter onto the steering column. Make sure that the centering mark on the steering column matches the centering mark on the hub adapter. Reinstall the steering bolt by hand to make sure it doesn't cross thread. And then torque to 37 foot pounds. You can now reconnect the battery. There's a few ways to go from here. If you don't want a quick release system, you can now wire the horn and attach any steering wheel that has a universal 6 bolt mounting pattern. In this case, I'm using the same quick release system that I use in my Xterra, and these two vehicles will be sharing one Momo steering wheel. So, the female side of the quick release is already attached to the steering wheel. Here, I'm plugging the male end of the quick release into the back of the female end so I can wire the horn. Start by connecting alligator clips to the two horn wires on the hub adapter. Then, it's a game of guess and check to match up the right wires. Plug the alligator clips onto the wires on the quick release. Turn the key and press the horn button. I got it right the first try. Make note of which wires match up with which. Disconnect the hub side of the quick release from the wheel and use the jumper connectors supplied by NRG. Reconnect the quick release to the wheel and test the horn again. This is the only car I've ever owned that requires the key to be turned in the ignition in order for the horn to work. Disconnect the quick release. Connect the resistor to the airbag wire connector. 
Secure all the wire connections with electrical tape and tuck the bundle into the hub adapter. Carefully hand thread the screws in a crisscross pattern and tighten them down with an Allen wrench. The process of wiring the horn and connecting the wheel side of the quick release is exactly the same. I really like how the Momo wheel has changed the look of the cockpit of this car and it feels really nice in your hands. I run this wheel in the Xterra, the Ranger and the Integra. Being that all my vehicles are so very different from each other, it's cool to have some familiarity across the different platforms. The Subaru is the only one with the factory wheel, but it's because that's the comfy car and the wheel has like a million buttons. One other interesting thing to note is that on the Ranger, the Xterra, and the Integra, I lost all control of the cruise control. On the VW, the cruise control controls are actually on the steering column and separate from the wheel. So this car still has cruise control. So that's pretty neat. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. Also super, super important, if you like the content, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.